mga tanong Akong naririnig May pag-asa pa bang sisikat sa gitna ng dilim Narito't nag-iisa, haharapin pa ba ang umaga? Saan patutungo ang buhay kung wala ka pa? Oh, kay hirap sabihin ang pangalan mo Kung ang puso ay alipin pa sa takot at galit Sabay-sabay nagtatanong, sabay-sabay nakatuon Saan pa ba lalapit, kundi sa Diyos na pag-ibig? Tayo na, tayo na, sa lubungin natin siya Lapit na, lapit pa, si Jesus sisingilang na Awit na, lakas pa Si Jesus nandito na, gising na, sundan na, tunog ng kampana, tara na. May pagbabagong, handog ba siya sa atin? May pag-asa pa bang pusong uhaw sa pag-ibig? Narito at nag-iisa, naganap ng kasama. Sa buhay kung wala ka pa Oh, kay hirap sabihin ang pangalan mo Kung ang puso ay alipin pa sa takot at galit Sabay-sabay na katuon, sabay-sabay na lilingon Sa taong may sugat, paaniyahe pagpapatawad ikaw na, ikaw na, o Jesus ang pag-asa Ikaw na, o Jesus, ang Pasko ng biyaya Halina, halika, puspusin ang ligaya Ikaw na, ikaw na, ang Pasko ng handog ng Ama Ikaw na May pagkakataon sa buhay natin May pangungulilat pangamba May kaaway at nagdurusa Sa awa ng Diyos, habag niya ang tutubos Tayo na, tayo na sa lubungin natin siya, lapit na, lapit pa Si Jesus sa singilang na, awit na, lakas pa Si Jesus nandito na, gising na, sundan na Tunog ng kampana, tara na Ikaw na, ikaw na, o Jesus ang pag-asa ikaw na, O Jesus, ang Pasko ng biyaya Halina, halika, pususin ang ligaya Ikaw na, ikaw na, ang Pasko ng handog na Ama Ikaw na, ang Pasko ng handog na Ama Ikaw na, ikaw na, ang pag-asa Ikaw na, ikaw na Magandang buhay, magandang uh, buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, doing all for the gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng ating mga kasamahan mga pari, mga brothers, mga juniors, mga professed members at mga seminarista po ng uh, Society of St. Paul dito po sa Pilipinas at Macau. At ganyan din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila, at ng TV Maria, sila po ang ating mission partner, linggo-linggo. Ay uh, inaanyayahan po namin kayong makiisa, makimisa, ngayon pong ikadalawampu't siyam ng Disyembre, 
2019, ito po ang linggo na nasa loob ng oktabo o yung walong araw na pagdiriwang ng Pasko at ito din po ang linggo na pinagdiriwang po natin ang kapistahan ng banal na pamilya ni Jesus, ni Maria at ni Jose. Huling linggo ng 2019, isipin mo yan, ano? Tayo po ay tatapos na naman ng isang taon at tayo nagpapasalamat siyempre sa Panginoon na is din po nating ipanalangin ang ating mga regular na mga kasambuhay. Yung mga homebound na mga may sakit, yung mga elderly, mga cancer patients, yung inyo po mga caregivers. Gayun din po ang ating mga persons on duty, mga militar, police, doktor at mga health workers, lalo-lalo na po sa iba't ibang mga emergency rooms ng mga ospital, no? At siyempre po ang ating mga OFWs. Binabati nga po pala natin ang ating mga mission partners diyan po sa Canada, si Brother Alex Pideris, Dorothy Santos Merck, Ani Adorna, Emmy at Dante Reyes at ang kanilang pamilya, si Joy at Alex Reyes, si Doktora Jo Adorna Guzman at Alicia Adorna at ang kanilang mga pamilya. Gayun din po na po nating uh, batiin si Leslie Masigan at ang kanyang buong family, si Tony at Lourdes Chowa, si Ed at Norma Arrujado, si George at Noemi Villarus ng Villarus and Villarus CPAs, si Didith at Joey Jacob, si Mariel Diaz, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan, dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, si Alma Gonzales at ang kanyang buong pamilya, si Catherine Pablo, si Chona, at gayon din po ang ating mga long time na mga love offerers na sina Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban at Leilani Paladio Himotea. Binabati nga rin po pala natin ng ating mga bagong mga kasambuhay mula po sa iba't ibang mga pilgrimage groups natin. Unang-una po ang spell group at uh, ang Orange Group ng March 2019 sa ilalim po ng Journeys of Faith at ang Journeys of Faith Holy Land Group ng October 2018 kinabibilangan po ni na Father Randy, Charlie, Joab, si Father Joy dyan po sa Taiwan at gayon din po ang uh, mga magkakaibigan na si na Doktora Cora Cabral Geraldine Lee, Grace at uh, Marie uh, si Grace Lara, si Marie Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso at uh, si Attorney Jane San Benaventura, si Nino Molina, Willie at Arlina Onglao, si Albert at uh, gayon din po si Anton Santos at si Juliet O'Reilly, si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok. At ang grupo po ni na Chrissy, Highland, Rosely C, at uh, gayon din po si Rosabel D at William D, si Tantwik, ang Tantwiko group po ni Dana at uh, Kathleen at ni Tal, ang mag-asawang Iris at Val Rivero, at gayon din po si Grace Pulido Tan at si Nonoy Tan. Noon naman pong March 2019 ay eh, kasama naman po natin ang grupo ni Brother Manny at Sister Lulu Recto, ang kanilang buong angkan at mga kaibigan, kasama na riyan si Pearl at Rafi Rodriguez. At ang uh, pilgrimage group din ng 2019 ni Jen Castillo at ng uh, Workers of Christ. And of course, noong October, November 2019, ang pilgrimage group po natin uh, sa Holy Land, ang grupo ni na Lady Bird, Maricel Salapantan, Noel, Mercy at si Trish, si Gay, no? at uh, si Father Divino Santos Rabang, 
at uh, si Nanay Alejandrina, si Mar Maria Teresa Aboyti sa tangkanyang uh, anak na si Mara, at uh, siyempre po mula sa Pangasinan, si uh, Ate Lita at si Mario Aningalan. Ayan, no? At um, binabati rin po natin at nais nating isama sa misa ngayon ang intentions na pumasok sa atin pong Facebook at Messenger accounts. Una na po riyan ang uh, galing kay Isabel Chini Tampis para po sa kaluluwa ng kanyang tatay na si Ernesto Tampis. Si Rolando Villanueva, nais niyang ipanalangin natin ang good health ng kanyang nanay na si Avelina Villanueva. Si Maria Socorro Fuentes naman, nais po niyang ipanalangin natin ang mga kaluluwa ni Evangelina Hiliodoro at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa kanya sa purgatorio Healing din para po kay Claro at lahat ng mga may sakit. Si Pilar's Chocolato, nais naman niya pong ipanalangin po natin ang kaluluwa ni Hector, ni Pilar, ni Florentino, Mirna, Raul, Father Nene Sinoy, Pasiensyo, Salbasyon at uh, of course lahat po ng mga kaluluwa rin sa purgatorio. Si Lilet Piho Villamore, mas intentions para sa mga victims ng earthquake sa Mindanao and for the conversion of sinners. Si Patria Kunanan, mas intentions, thanksgiving, good health, guidance, protection para sa kanyang mga anak at grandchildren, lalo-lalo na pa daw si Calix. Yan, special mention si Calix. And uh, forgiveness and healing para kay uh, Patria and the eternal repose for Rochelle and all the souls in Purgatory. Si Marilu Non, uh, good health, guidance, safety and protection and peace of mind. Si Maria Luisa Remejo Figueroa, kanya thanksgiving and uh, siya po'y nakikinig daw dyan sa... Down Under. Wow, namimiss daw niya yung uh, Pasko dito sa Pilipinas. No? At uh, si Ana Batalya, mas intentions for uh, family guidance, protection, and provision. Thanksgiving and for all blessings received. Sabi po ni Ana Batalya. Si Gail Gonsalvo, uh, nais niyang magpasalamat para sa kanyang healing and fast recovery, si Imelda Corazon Nocos, para po sa intentions ng kanyang parents, grandparents, na nawa sila ay nasa kapayapaan. Si Jeanette de la Cruz, kanya blessings uh, and uh, healing prayer for Lawrence Mack and thanksgiving naman for Fritch and Family. Si Jen Ursua, good health para sa kanilang mag-asawa at sa buong pamilya. Si Evelyn Fernandez, na isyang ipanalangin po natin lahat po ng mga dying, yung mga walang matirhan, ang mga biktima ng bagyo at earthquake at uh, para po kay Athena kanya. Si uh, Marilu Non uli. Ah, nais naman niyang ipanalangin po natin ang eternal repose ni Virgie, Beth, Ed, no? Who died recently, no? And uh, gayon din po si Ophelia Marcelo, mas intentions para po sa good health ng kanyang mga apo, anak, mga kapatid and uh, keep safe kanya sa lahat ng nasa bayan. And eternal repose for the husband, si Avelino Mer Marcelo. Si Jocelyn, uh, prayers for the soul of the stepbrother, si Principe Esporlas. At uh, si Doral Magsino Padilla, prayer for blessings and grace of the family. And uh, we'd like also to pray for Ayan 
Humphrey Idmilao, uh, prayers for the fast recovery ng kanya pong uh, uh, ng ng kanya pong uh, mga kamay kanya. Oh, in the healing hands of the Lord, the Lord will touch us and uh, protect us from all danger. Sabi po ni Ayan, no? Uh, thank you. And uh, likewise, we'd like to pray for the officers and crew of MB Andromeda sa ilalim po ng Inter-Orient Maritime Enterprises. Ang grupo po ni Captain Ronald De Los Reyes. No? Kumusta na po kayo? At nawa ay bigyan kayo ng isang mapayapang paglalayag, maayos na kabuhayan at maayos na kalusugan, no? We would like also to pray for Gerochi Dental and Implant Center. Ang grupo po ni Atorn ani Dr. Rico Martin at Axel Gerochi at uh, si Doktora Hazel Jade Tan. Diyan po sa fourth floor ng Montevar Building, Jupiter, Makati. Puntahan po ninyo sila sa inyong mga iba't ibang mga dental needs. No? Now, tayo po ay uh, magse-celebrate ng Feast of the Holy Family and uh, napaaganda po ng ating mga pagbasa. No? Of course, itong piyesta ng Holy Family, I believe, we celebrate it because sa kwento po ng Pasko, ang pinaka-main character, siyempre, si Jesus, si Maria bilang ina ni Jesus, at si Jose bilang legal father ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And so, as we celebrate Christmas, we celebrate how God's plan involves the family. Sa first reading po natin, mula sa Book of Sirach, Ikwinekwento sa atin sa first reading yung halaga ng pagbibigay ng reverence and honoring sa ating mga nanay at tatay kahit sa kanilang katandaan dahil po sa role na kanilang ginagampanan sa buhay natin. No? Yung responsorial psalm, Psalm 128, magpapaalala po sa atin na sa pamilya, dapat ang bumubuo sa pamilya hindi lang yung pagmamahal kung hindi yung fear of the Lord yung reverensya sa Diyos no yung nakikita natin na kasama ang Diyos sa lahat ng ginagawa po natin and ang ganda rin po ng advice ng second letter a second reading po natin letter of Paul to the Colossians chapter 3 12 to 17, ang sabi naman po ni Pablo, uh, dapat kanya meron tayong heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, bearing and forgiving one another, even in the midst of grievances and differences. Ang mga gandang paalala yun, ano? Kung may kahinahunan ng pag-iisip, kahinahunan ng puso, tsak yan na ang kapayapaan sa sa atin sa pamilya bilang iisang katawan. And then of course, our gospel reading will be from Matthew 5, 12 12-13-15, 19-23. to And it's about the Magi's living When the Magi's departed, nagpahiwatig ang anghel kay Jose na kailangan dalhin si Jesus sa Egypt sapagkat wanted si Jesus ni Haring Herodes. At uh, ito ay pinalipas ni Jose ang buhay ni Herodes pero pagbalik siya ay pumunta ng Nazaret sapagkat si Archelaus naman, kadyaan sa ating pagbasa, ang ruler ng Hudea. Dito po makikita natin how the Holy Family manifests that life of the family must be lived in between joys. Yan. So, we must learn to move on. Move on. Huh? 
Huwag ho tayo mapako sa iisang sitwasyon. Tulad ni Jose, let us learn to move on. And dalawang bagay ang babalansihin natin. Yung watchfulness in prayer, kung saan pwedeng magpahiwatig ang Diyos. At gayon din naman po, yung abilidad natin na mag-discern, manmanan ang developments ng practical life. Yan po yung ginawa ni Jose. No? Nakinig siya sa anghel, pero maliban doon, inisip din niya, ay, si Archelaus ang pumalit kay Herod. Buti pa sa Nasaret tayo pumunta. Huwag sa Bethlehem. Oh? So, kinocombine palagi ni Jose yung divine inspiration, watchfulness in prayer, at uh, yung kanyang evaluation at discernment sa mga practical things in life. And I believe every family must do that. So, narito na po ang ating pong misa ngayon pong uh, Feast of the Holy Family sa oratorio po ni Maria, Reina ng mga Apostol. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. sa ating lahat, lalo tigit sa ating mga taga-subaybay, sa ating uh, sambuhay, TV Mas. As we start this Eucharistic celebration, kindly greet those around you. Pakisabihan lang po, lalo na sa mga nanonood, salamat at narito ka. You have to make it a habit to always thank the Lord for the gift of presence around us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The feast of the Holy Family celebrated during the Christmas week reminds us that the Savior is born into a family. In order to draw us back to the Father, the Son, and God, the Son of God becomes a member of the human family. He shares not only the love and affection of Mary and Joseph, but also the fragil fragility and danger they face because of poverty and injustice. May the Lord Jesus has come to be part of the human family. Bless all our families. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are pleased to give us a shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children. And when he prays, he is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Give him not as long as he lives. Even his mind fail, be considerate of him. Reveal him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the depth of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Your wife shall be like fruitful vine in the recess of your home. Your children live olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem 
all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all this, put on love that is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands, as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they may not become discouraged. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed from Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Una po nais ko pumuling batiin uh, yung ating mga taga-subaybay ng Sambuhay TV Mass. Lalo na po yung uh, aking foster parents na nasa Canada na lagi hong nanonood ng ating Sambuhay uh, TV Mass. Si uh, family, uh, Panyares family at yung mga members po ng IDP, yung uh, Igbaras Dutang Pinalanga. It's a group of uh, balikbayan no? from a uh, native place in Iloilo. Kapatid, can you consider your family as a happy family? Can you consider your family as a united family? Can you consider your family as a praying family? Maaring sa unang dalawang tanong, ang sagot mo, hindi. 
Pero kung sa pangatlong tanong ang sagot mo, oo, kapatid, you're on the right track. Ngunit, pwede mong sabihin, you have a happy family, a united family, but if your family is not praying, I tell you, kapag nakaranas kayo ng pagsubok sa buhay bilang isang pamilya, you will definitely crumble. Kasi, if the relationship is not rooted in the love of the Lord, there is always bitterness in the family. Sa ating ikalawang magbasa, binigyang diin, do not be bitter. Kaya pag ako'y nagkakasal, ang lagi ko sinasabi sa mag-asawa, tandaan mo ang iyong asawa ay ang iyong better half, na kahit mag-away, magkatampuhang kayo, the better must always remain the better. Huwag maging bitter because when, when uh, the better becomes bitter, it would definitely weaken the foundation of your relationship. Minsan meron akong ikinasal. Akala ko renewal of vows kasi it's uh, 25 years. Yung pala 25 years na silang ikinasal sa civil. Pero ang pangarap talaga ng husband na makasal sila sa simbahan and on their 25th uh, anniversary, uh, as a couple, doon sila nagpakasal sa simbahan. Tulad ng ibang ikinakasal ko, inaalam ko yung kwento ng uh, couple. At nung nag-usap nga kami ng secretary doon, kasi nung in-email nila sa akin, doon ko nalaman yung kwento nila. Sabi ko sa couple, uh, asa sa secretary ng parokya, kapatid, wag mo nang hingan ng stipend. Okay na sa akin yung yung panggas. No? Medyo malayo yung pinanggalingan ko. Okay na yon Pero nagulat ako kasi talagang pinaghandaan pala nila. At ang ganda na kanilang kwentong pag-ibig. They started young. Huh? Um, parehong hindi nakatapos ng pag-aaral at sapagkat hindi tapos sa pag-aaral, they did menial jobs. Si wife ay naging labandera at si husband ay naging Um, driver pero hindi pa regular yung pagwala lang available na driver ano? doon lang siya kinukuha and unang taon pa lang ng pagsasama nila ay nabuntis na kaagad si misis nasundan ka agad at nasundan ulit ah, ah, tatlong magkasunod at sabi nga niya father ano, una gusto na naming maghiwalay kasi walang araw na hindi kami nagbabangayan. Walang araw na hindi kami nagsisigawan. Sa so, munting na ipundar namin, pinggan, baso, kutsara, nagiging flying saucer pa pag nag kami. Ano? Nagbabatuhan. Yung mga nirigalo sa amin nung, nung uh, kami ikinasal, abay, nagsibasagan na at uh, pag nag lumilipad yung mga iyon. Then after some time, especially the guy, Uh, sabi niya, parang walang patutunguhan ng ganitong uri ng sabahan. Naisip din ni wife na ganon. Pero in the end, sabi nila, parehong nagmamahalang kami. Totoo, pareho kaming bata. Uh, they, they got married at the age of, I think, 18, 19. Uh, numuntik na sila maghiwalay, naisip nila, ano ang mangyayari? Una tigit sa lahat sa aming mga anak kapag kami naghiwalay. Huh? Tandaan ho natin, kapag naghiwalay ang mag-asawa, the first casualties are the children. So una nilang inisip, hindi yung sarili nila, bagkos yung kanilang mga anak. At ito'y naririnig ko din sa ibang mga kinakasal ko, ang ganda na kanilang pinag-usapan. Pwedeng mag-away, pero hinding-hindi maghihiwalay. Ah, napakaganda, ano? Pwedeng mag-away, pero hinding-hindi maghihiwalay. At dahil doon, sabi nga nila, paano ba natin mapapatibay itong ating pagsasamahan? Nag-usap sila. And then they decided that the only way for them to strengthen the relationship is to allow God to become the center of the relationship. Unti-unting, tuwing linggo, nagsisimba na sila. Huh? Sabi nga niya, una father, nahiya ako kasi pareho kaming di marunong magrosaryo. Nagpaturo pa kami sa matandang kapitbahay paano mag-rosaryo. At kapag kami medyo nagkakainitan, mag-uusap kami, magdasal tayo. Ang galing. Prayer unites them. 
Tapos dumating yung panahong, sabi niya, dahil father ako pa extra-extra lang sa pagdadrive. May mga panahong wala kaming pambili ng gatas ng mga bata. May mga panahong wala kaming kahit pang kape naming mag-asawa. Kaya minsan may pagkakataon na una naming papakainin yung mga bata. Kung anong matira ng mga bata, yun na lang aming kakainin. Tapos si wife, kapag uh, naglaba siya, uh, papakainin siya, sabihin niya lang, ay busog po ako. Pwede ko bang iuwi na lang ito sa mga anak ko? At sa kabutihang loob naman nung kanyang mga naging uh, boss, uh, mga employer niya na nagpapalabas sa kanya, minsan pag alam mong iuwi, di nadagdagan. Si mister naman kapag nag-drive, uh, minsan may mga pamilyang kukuha sa kanya para mag-drive, papakainin siya o kaya bibigyan ng merienda. Uh, sabi niya kahit isang uh, supot ng insaymada, iuwi pa niya uh, para lang maibigay sa pamilya. Ang ganda. Kaya sabi ko nga, no, for a family that is truly rooted in the Lord, hindi mo isipin ang sarili mo. Iisipin mo yung mga taong nakapaligid sa iyo, lalo na yung mga taong mahalaga sa iyo. When they allow the Lord to become at the center of their relationship, they started to become selfless. Totoo. Wala silang... Uh, masyadong ari-arian. Wala silang kayamanan. Pero nakita nila na ang tunay nilang kayamanan ay kanilang mga anak. So, hindi lang tatlo. Nasundan pa. <laughs> Dalawa pa ang sumunod. Lima. Ano? Pero ito din ang kagandahan. Sabi nga ni Mr. Father, nung alam kong hirap na hirap kami, doon ko natigil magbisyo. Kasi, sabi niya, totoo, noon mura pang sigarilyo. Pero sabi niya, sisindihan ko lang ba yung sigarilyo pag naubos na, wala na. Pero sabi niya, pag inipon ko ito, makabili man ako kahit sa shay. No? Ganun kahirap. Kahit sa shay ng gatas na may uwi ko sa pamilya ko at ang isang sa shay na gatas na yan, hahatiin pa ng tatlo kong anak. Mas bata kong anak. Na minsan halos wala ng lasa. No? Pero sa pagsumikap nitong mag-asawa na unti-unti, nabibiyayaan din sila ng Diyos. Nakakuha si Mr. ng uh, isang amo na parang yun nga, part-time, part-time na muna. Hanggang nakita niyo kanyang kasipagan, kanyang pagiging tapat, ginawa siyang ipinasok sa kumpanya. Uh, nung nung nag amo niya, na, uh, pinasok sa kumpanya nito nung naghanap ng driver. Tapos yung pinakabos ng kumpanya, yung pinagdadrive niya lagi, nakita, maayos siya. Kinuha bilang Uh, family driver na mas malaki yung sweldo kaysa doon sa sweldo niya sa uh, extra-extra o yung on-call lang na driver ng kumpanya. Si misis naman, at dahil nga doon sa kasipagan niya rin, uh, nakapagbundar sila ng maliit na sari-sari store. Na pag hindi siya naglalaba, andun siya sa sari-sari store. Uh, niwasan na rin ni Mr. Magbisyo, si misis, kaysa lumabas na ito makapag-chismis, andyan na lang sa bahay. Uh, to make the long story short, yung kanilang limang anak ay eh, napatapos nila at naging professional ang lahat. Kaya nagulat ako nung araw ng kasal. Sabi ko, tama ba yung schedule ko? Kasi ang daming malalak- magagarang sasakyan doon sa labas ng... Sabi ko, akala ko napakasimple ng pamilyang ito. Nung nakausap ko yung mga anak, very simple. Pero alam mo, may mga pinag-aralan and very, very down to earth. At sabi ko nga, ito ay dahil din sa kanilang magulang. Mga kapatid, sa araw na ito, ating ipinagdiriwang ang kapistahan ng banal na pamilya. Pero para sa isang pamilya na maging tunay na banal, mahalaga na ang pamilya ay nagdadasal. A family that prays together stays together. At tulad ng isang pamilyang ito, hindi lang tinuruan ng magulang upang maging mapagmahal, upang maging mapagbigay, upang maging maunawain, isinabuhay ng magulang. At sa pakiwari ko, hindi lamang sila tinuruang magdasal, sinabayan ng magulang magdasal. Indeed, if a family is truly founded, rooted in prayer, anumang pagsubok ang susuungin, makakaya ng harapin. Kaya kapatid, kung ang pamilya mo hindi ganun kasaya, may sinusuong kayong problema, okay lang. Kung ang pamilya mo hindi nagkakaintindihan kasi iba-iba yung pananaw, okay lang. As long as hindi man kayo nagkakaintindihan, hindi man lubusang masaya ang pamilya. Kung nagdarasal ang pamilya, 
eventually malalampasan niyo ang pagsubok at tunay na magiging masaya at buo ang pamilya na siyang nakaugat sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. Kaya sa ating pagpapatuloy, bigyan ho natin ng halaga yung ating pamilya. Time and again, sinasabi ko, kung pwede nga yung mag-asawa ang mag-overtime, mag-overtime ka rin kapatid para sa iyong pamilya. Kung nakakapaglaan ka ng mahabang panahon sa social media, sabihin mo lang dalawang oras, araw-araw, gabi-gabi, napakalaki ng dalawang oras, isama mo, oh, napakalaki ng dalawang oras, nakasama mo ang iyong pamilya. Kasi kung kasama natin lagi ang ating pamilya, kasama natin ang tunay nating kayamanan. Sabihin na natin, hindi ganoon kasarap. Yung pagkain na sa pagkainan, payak lang, simple lang. Pero pagsama-sama ang pamilya, nagiging masaya. Eh kaysa naman, nasa harap mo yung masasarap na pagkain, mag-isa ka lang kumakain. Mas malungkot yung ganoon. Naranasan ko yun sa maraming pagkakataon, nung ako'y vocation director pa, miikot ako buong bansa para maganap ng bakong marirekrut sa seminaryo. In several locations, nakisalo ako sa mga pamilyang masasaya. Tatanong talaga ako, pwede ho bang uh, makisama sa inyo? Yung una, medyo may questioning look pa. Eh, no? Tapos sinasabi ko kaagad, uh, wala ho akong kasama. Masaya lang akong makasama yung isang pamilya. Ay, sige po sir. Oh, yeah. uh, minsan sa Bicol, ginawa ko yan. Nung kumakain na kami, tsaka ako nagpakilala bilang isang pare. At natuwa naman sila. Uh, sa yung isa nilang anak, isa Kristan, uh, in-encourage mo ang pumasok din ng seminaryo. Masaya kapatid ang pamilyang nagsama-sama. Huwag natin hayaang ang ating uh, hindi pagkakaunawaan ang maging hadlang upang magkawatak-watak ang pamilya. At sa mga mag-asawang nakakaranas ng mga pagsubok sa buhay pag-asawa, ang gawin din ninyong rule. Pwedeng mag-away, pero huwag maghiwalay. Huh? At sa maraming pagkakataon, ito nga sa mga nakakausap kong couples, huh? kapag... Uh, Meron silang di pagkakaunawaan. Hindi sila natutulog na dala-dala yung sama ng loob. Ilabas. Ilabas. At sa mga, lalo na mga batang pamilya o batang mag-asawa, ang encouragement ko sa inyo, kapatid, sumali kayo sa mga uh, charismatic groups. No? Couples for Christ, um, The Feast. Ako po regular nag-feast. Ah, uh, yung CFCFFL na bago na ho yung kanilang pangalan no? Missionary Families uh, of Christ na every third Sunday eh, nagmimisa ako sa kanila sa kanilang General Assembly at nakakatuwa kasi sa pag mayroon akong counseling sa kanila ako nagko-consult no? So I encourage you young couples no? to join these charismatic groups at at the same time no? be open to your parents no? be open to your elders kasi iba ang karanasan ng nakakatanda sa Pagdiriwang natin ngayong araw ng kapistahan ng banal na pamilya, ipagpasalamat din natin sa Diyos ang ating pamilya. May mga pamilya, totoo. May mga pamilya na hindi buo. Pero hindi man buo ang ating pamilya kung tayo patuloy na nagdarasal. Malay mo sa pagmamahal ng Diyos. Kung ano man ang kulang, pwedeng punan. Kung ano ang kulang, pwedeng mabuo. Pagpalain tayo na. I believe in one God.
Let us pray to our Heavenly Father who sent His Son to become a member of the human family. May we families recognize and honor Him as a loving Father. We pray, bless your children, Lord. Bless your children, Lord. Loving Father, bless Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, deacons, religious men and women, and lay leaders. May their lives mirror your loving mercy for all, especially the poor and the weak. We pray. Bless your children, Lord. Loving Father, bless our government officials. May they lead by good example, promote peace and prosperity among the people, and support families beset by calamity, injustice, and poverty. We pray. Bless your children, Lord. Loving Father, bless all parents and grandparents, like Mary and Joseph. May they be models of upright living, love, and generosity. We pray. Bless your children, Lord. Loving Father, bless all children. Like Jesus, may they grow not only in size and strength, but also in your favor and in the favor of their families and communities. We pray. Bless your children, Lord. Loving Father, bless the families that are severely tried by separation and by problems related to drugs and sexual abuse. May parents and children rebuild their homes through hard work, love, and forgiveness. We pray. Bless your children, Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Bless your children, Lord. Father in heaven, you have honored our human family by sending your son to live as one of us. Grant that you may learn from the example of the Holy Family on how to honor you in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. and that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking 
that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him the only exchange that restores our life has shown for today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we joy, we proclaim. Indeed, Holy Lord, the founts of holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith For us to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us ready to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Bishop, all the religious missionaries and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Peter and Paul, Blessed James Salvarione, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Sambahin ang alan 
Believers, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Kapatid, muli isang paanyaya when pag nagbibigay ho ng kapayapaan, wag lang hong yumuko. Kung kaklose mo po, FC ho kayo ng katabi mo, feeling close, yakapin mo, malay may pinagdaraanan yan, iparamdam mo, sumasa iyo, mapagpala at mapaghilom na presensya ni Jesus. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family, and may Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Bring those who refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Keep your family, we pray, O Lord, in your constant care so that under your protection they may be free from all troubles and by good works show dedication to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ and be a blessing to your family and to one another. Thanks be to God. Joy to the world, the Lord.
tayo po ay nagpapasalamat sa ating paring tagapagdiwang ngayon pong uh, kapistahan ng uh, Sagrada Pamilya. Ngayon naman po ay ating tignan yung patuloy nating pag-aaral at refleksyon sa Laudato Si, ang uh, encyclical letter po ni Pope Francis tungkol sa pag-aalaga po natin sa ating tirahan dito sa mundo. No? Ang tirahang binisita ng Panginoong Hesus sa kwento po ng Pasko. At nandun na po tayo sa chapter 3 kung saan tinatalakay po ni Pope Francis. Ano yung mga human roots, yung ugat sa ating mga tao ng problema ng ekolohiya, problema po ng uh, ating pong pangangalaga sa mundo. At uh, dito po sa konsiderasyon ni Pope Francis, Sabi po niya, isa po sa mga pinag-uugatan ng problema ng ecology at pangangalaga sa mundo ay yung bang overemphasis natin sa technocratic paradigm. Yan. Technocratic paradigm. Lahat ng bagay ay technology. No? Procedure, approach, control. Yan experimentation no um, para bang lahat ng bagay kailangan maging siyensya no uh, maayos naman ang siyensya kailangan po natin ang siyensya pero ang problema po sabi ni Pope Francis sa ganitong ating pananaw sa mundo para bang ang tingin natin sa mundo ay mga ano lang ito bagay na kailangan gamitin i-harness, pag-eksperimentuhan, yan, no? Kaya nga, ang palaging mangyayari po dito ay yung interes ng nakararami, yung interes ng powerful groups, no? Para sa ganon, mapakinabangan ng husto ang kalikasan. Ang point po ni Pope Francis, kanya, uh, isa nga sa mga problema natin ngayon, ay yung tinatawag na super development. So, masyado nating nade-develop ang mundo technologically so much so na marami po yung nasasayang na mga resources. No? And uh, of course, nagkakaroon din po ng uh, uh, dehumanizing, hindi makatao na deprivation dahil po sa pagkaka gamit natin ng husto ng natural resources. So, ang point ni Pope Francis, siguro kailangan i-broaden natin yung ating pananaw bilang mga tao. Huwag lang po nating tignan ang kalikasan bilang isang bagay na dapat gamitin para magkaroon tayo ng mga products, magkaroon tayo ng mga items mga bagay na gagamitin sa buhay. Kung hindi, it is very important to see na ang kalikasan ay uh, dapat din po sigurong tignan in a more positive way according to its value. No? Na may value ang kalikasan even without technology. No? Kung minsan nga, doon natin makikita eh. Kaya nga yung iba, gusto-gusto pumunta ng places like Palawan. Ganyan, no? <coughs> Kasi, walang masyadong development doon sa mga areas na yan. And therefore, na raramdaman pa rin nila yung ganda ng kalikasan. Uh, let me just read ito pong closing statement ni Pope Francis sa uh, paragraph 114. Sabi niya, Nobody is suggesting a return to the Stone Age. No, hindi, hindi. Hindi natin ibig sabihin, ihinto lahat ng development. Bumalik tayo sa paggamit ng lampara. Ayan. Wala ng electricity. Hindi po. But, sabi ni Pope Francis, we need to slow down to look at reality in a different way, to approach the positive sustainable progress, and recover the values na mas malalim pa sa paggamit. The values of the world and nature in itself. 
Yun po, no? At nawa uh, sa atin pong uh, pagpasok sa bagong taon, yan po ang isa sa mga patakaran natin to be more respectful of nature. And we are all stewards of the Lord. Okay? So, sa ngalan po ng uh, atin pong mga kasamahan dito sa Sambuhay uh, TV Apostolate, ngayon naman po kayo'y aming tinitipan na maging uh, kasambuhay po line cooperator. Unang-una, nasa screen po natin, ang ating iba't ibang mga account numbers for your love offerings para po maituloy-tuloy po natin itong ating ginagawang apostoladong ito. And then, nasa screen din po natin yung uh, iba't ibang mga cable networks no? at uh, yung iba't ibang mga uh, platforms sa internet at sa YouTube na gamit po natin. Ipakilala natin ito sa atin po mga kaibigan, kamag-anakan sa abroad. And uh, of course, nandyan din po ang ating text number for your uh, feedbacks and mass intentions. So, sa ngalan po ng lahat ng bumubuo ng St. Paul Audiovisuals, sa pangunguna ni Father Resti de la Peña, at uh, lahat po sila doing all for the gospel, iniiwan po natin ang panalangin ito ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear, my sweet Mother Mary, Keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, and my senses that I may never commit sin. Sanctify my thoughts, affections, words, and actions that I may please you, Jesus. And Mary, give me your holy blessings. Amen. Amen.